Hello humans. Welcome back to my flopping YouTube channel. Today I will be doing how they became my bias. So it's pretty self-explanatory. I will go through all my alts and a few other groups and say why and how they became my bias. Well then hope you enjoy this video. <laughs> As you can tell Yuna is my bias in Itzy. I think I make it very clear that I ult her. But it wasn't always like this. If you look back on my channel you can find that my bias in Itzy used to be Yeji. Mostly because I didn't know who to bias in Itzy and I also never saw the hype in Yuna before in the morning was released. I got into Itzy when not shy teasers were being released and Yeji immediately caught my attention but now. I'm proud to say that my bias is now Yuna. As soon as I saw the teasers for in the morning I just knew Yuna was going to slay. I've been watching a lot of her content recently and I come to see how likable she is. So Yuna became my bias because I really admired her and I thought she was really talented and pretty and cool. So stan her. I still love Yeji and all the members though but Yuna has a special place in my heart. I don't have a bias wrecker. I can't pick so it's probably OT4. So yeah that is how Yuna became my bias. Next up is Enhypen, and my bias is Sunno. This might take a while to explain but we have to go back. Back to June last year when I land started airing. At first I had zero interest in that show. I saw it pop up all the time but I didn't want to watch it. I knew it was a big hit survival show though. I saw a lot of people talking about I land and I was just confused. It wasn't until days after Enhypen debuted I started to get interested in them. I saw their video in which they reacted to their given taken music video and I was like I have to stand them. So I started trying to remember their names and watch their content so then I decided to watch I land. Before even watching the show Sunno caught my attention. He just looked so cool I don't know. Something about him stood out to me so when I watched I land I fell even harder for him. He was so amazing. He felt so natural. And he had such an original and happy personality that I just claimed him as my bias. I also really liked Sung Hoon whilst watching the show but at the end of everything I always knew Sun Oh was my favorite. So stan him. He's got the looks, the talent, the personality, the aura, the effort. He's great and I don't understand why people say he's lazy and spoiled because he's the producer's choice. He constantly ranked first because well just look at him. Fan favorite and what's not to love. My bias in Luna is Miss Crunchy Go One. When getting into Luna I honestly didn't know who to bias. One day Jin Sal is my bias. The next day Cherry is. I always liked Luna but didn't want to get into them because the amount of members scared me. And I felt like that when standing eyes one. Weird right. I just watched a guide to their Lunaverse and listened to all their solos. That's how I got into Luna. I liked Go One because I really liked her solo song. It was different from what I had ever heard before and it surprised me. Go One reminds me of myself so I knew I just had to bias her. I also really liked her name. Kind of weird I know. I saw how charismatic she was on stage and I just really enjoyed watching her fancoms. So yeah that is how Go One became my bias. <laughs> I am Hong Joon biased. Everyone in 80s is so biasable if that makes any sense. But when getting into 80s Hong Joon especially stood out to me. When I watched their stages I loved how he was overflowing with confidence and stage presence. I can't bias a boring person with no type of eye catching presence. Hong Joon is someone I aspire to be like. Smart. Strong. Creative. Talented. Funny. Good looking and overall such a caring person. I am kind of a Yo Sang bias as well but Hong Joon will always be my number one. I appreciate and love all the members and at some point they've all been my bias. Stan 80s for clear skin. So Hong Joon became my bias because I adored how powerful he was on stage. There was a period of time when I was just so obsessed with Red Velvet. I still am. But they just feel so close to disbandment that it's kind of discouraging me. Sulji is my bias. Because what's not to love about her honestly. I don't really remember how she became my bias but I'm sure it was because I noticed her first. Whenever Red Velvet was mentioned Selgi popped into my mind first. I remember loving her visuals so much. 
She looked so pretty but in a unique way. She looked really natural and I loved that. I remember really bad boy being what actually made me want to stand red velvet. And Selgi looked so good in that era. That blonde hair and stage presence was just well. I just found myself liking her a lot. I really loved her vocals as well. She has a really unique tone. She can have such a tropical tone like in Zoo but then have such an emotional tone in Psycho. I loved it. Sulji looks so nice. She looks like she genuinely enjoys her job. So Selgi became my bias because I liked her visuals and I thought she was an amazing asset to Red Velvet. <laughs> My bias in twice is Na Young. When I first created this channel it was obvious I was obsessed with her. She was my PFP. I always mentioned her. I just think she deserves everything she has received. TT was my introduction song to twice. I thought it was so cute. When watching their stage, two girls caught my attention. They were Da Hun and Na Young. They looked stunning on stage. I thought Na Young suited TT so much. She was kind of the highlight and center of the song so yeah of course I noticed her first. I like Na Young's confidence. I like how she believes in herself. If you know me you would know I dislike insecure people because why would you want to be insecure? You have to be confident about yourself. There's only one you in the world. Na Young looked like a pro on stage. She didn't look like she was carrying any stage fright with her. And I admired that. In my head I believe I am 100% confident but down in my heart somewhere I know that's not 100% true. I'm still working on my self assurance and I'm sure I'll get there. Okay enough of the mushy stuff but yeah Na Yun became my bias because I admired her confidence and self assurance. Those are all the idols I have something interesting to say about. But some honorable mentions will be. Winter of Aster. V of BTS. Yuki of Purple Kiss and Soy and of Idol. I don't have interesting stories about them but just know that they're also my biases. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm sorry it came out so late. I've just been quite unmotivated to edit lately and I kind of forced myself to get this video out but don't worry. There's more quality content coming soon. Hope you enjoyed besties. Comment down your biases and how you got into them. Ciao.